so yeah, they, they are like literally the free rules. Have an income, you know, 10K per month, spend less than you earn. So that means budget um, and but basically earn more money and also budget to spend less. Finally, invest your money. You don't have to over. This is like the simplest process ever. You don't have to overcomplicate anything at all. You can also look at like um, the power of like compounding interest. If anyone doesn't know, you can invest one penny. And if you double that penny every single day for 31 days, you would end up with $10 million, which is insane. It's absolutely insane. And like, I'll say that again. If you started off with one penny, if you double it 31 times, you end up with 10 million, which is, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. So just you can put in like into a compounding calculator as well. How much money would you end up with if you just invest, um, if you save your income um, and you just receive like a 10% return every single year? Like it's, it's really not that hard. So for whatever reason, they don't teach this stuff in school. At least I de definitely wasn't taught that they don't teach you anything about managing your, um, your finances or like how to actually generate wealth. Um, a few other little rules and I guess like quick tips to finish up on. Never go in debt for assets that decrease in price. This is just like the number one rule. Like it, it is a game that you will always lose at. You have to pay back the original amount and your asset has decreased in price. Plus you're going to be paying interest on your, your debt as well. It's just, yeah, you're, you're always going to lose. Only ever borrow money for assets that increase. For example, a mortgage would be considered good debt. Um, as, like generally re real estate um, will increase in price over a period of time. So don't be so worried about like if you're in debt for a mortgage and things like this, um, but never borrow money for any asset that decreases in price that loses value. By buying things that make you look successful in cars, designer clothes, um, watches in some cases, but in fact, watches can actually be an investment. Um, but yeah, definitely like on the cars and in most cases, designer clothes, you're actually stopping yourself from becoming rich. So by wanting to appear to be, this is hypocritical of me to say as well, because I actually own two cars outright. Um, but they were bought as rewards for myself uh, linked to specific goals. But if I was really strict, it doesn't make financial sense to to own one of them outright, let alone two of them. Um, and yeah, so by sort of trying to portray this image, you're actually stopping yourself from becoming rich. You will keep yourself in like the in that level, whereas if you invested that money and let that money actually work for you and pay you back, in a couple of years time, you would be able to afford all of your stuff plus more and you would be a lot more wealthy. So it is just like you have to overcome like the temptation of wanting of these like impulse purchases, let's call them. Um, buying things also just gives me like temporary happiness. Um, like I have like the car of my dreams and I've it just wears off after a few months. Like I was so happy for a few months and I still love the car, but it just, it doesn't bring happiness. You just get used to it. It's like the complete truth. Whereas one thing that does constantly make me happy is the feeling of having money coming into my bank account. Um, the feeling of seeing like return on investment and seeing like growth of your wealth. It's a feeling of progression. And that is something that does consistently um, give me happiness, assuming that I continue to grow my wealth. So it's actually debatable, at least in my opinion, that I would achieve more happiness from saving that money and investing it and having that money working for me, generating me more income than the car does. Because also the car just <laughs> causes its own set of, of problems. Um, Another nice little quote, if your money isn't working for you, you will always be working for money. Getting rich is a process. Get rich quick schemes are like a complete waste of time. I completely um, agree with that. Like these, I don't know, the things that you see online, it's just all, um, it's, it's all rubbish in, in my opinion. There's, there's very few ways to get rich um, quickly. And also you sort of want to, to generate, to, to build yourself up as a person, both whilst you are generating this wealth, the only people that I really have respect for are, in terms of, of wealth, sorry, are like the, the self-made millionaires, right? They're the people that, that you have respect for and you're interested to engage with a guy who's like won the lottery or inherited a load of wealth or like a, 
someone who's like divorced and perhaps a woman who's divorced a, a rich husband and, and achieved a load of wealth that way. This isn't a high value person. And by high value, I don't mean rich. I mean, as a person, they, they, they just haven't been through the experiences required to become a millionaire, multimillionaire, billionaire. Um, so getting rich is like a process and it's a process of self-development for you as well. And I really feel that you will always earn as much as you have developed yourself. Um, if that makes sense. Like, for example, when I first had like dreams of having my cars, like these sports cars, I, I wasn't the type of person who deserved to own these sports cars. I didn't have the, the knowledge. I hadn't worked hard enough. Like I, I, I hadn't built myself up to be that type of person. And you, you grow into, you grow into that. Um, so just getting rich is a process like, and you will, if you'll keep climbing the ladder and both developing yourself as a person, um, gaining more skills, acquiring more knowledge. And as you do that, your wealth will grow, grow alongside it. Um, and to add on to that point, a fool and his money are very quickly parted. Anyone who does get rich overnight generally has no idea about capital management because they haven't been through that process. And this is often why you hear in the news of these people who have won the lottery, came into six million pounds, ten million million dollars, whatever it is, after a couple of years, they've blown for it on on whatever strippers, cocaine, alcohol, having like a good time. But they've got no idea about capital management and they they just find themselves back at square one. So again, you need to like, it's about, it's a process, enjoy the process of building your, your wealth. Um, and the other thing to add to this for anyone with maybe like self doubt or something, wealth has nothing to do with your school education and university degrees. Just go out and watch all like the self-made millionaires, almost all of them, um, at least like there, there's a podcast that I listen to called the diary of a CEO. Um, if you don't know, it, I strongly suggest listening to it. They have some really interesting guests on there, multiple billionaires and so on a lot of like multi multi millionaires. And the one thing that you always find in common is they say they hated school or they, or they just didn't do well in school. And it doesn't mean that you're stupid. Wealth has absolutely nothing to do with that at all. If anything, um, <laughs> I like in some cases, I think people who didn't do well in school and didn't find school interesting are more likely to be successful as entrepreneurs it's definitely a trending theme that you see the more books i read the more information i consume from billionaires um people like that they just didn't they didn't feel that they that they just didn't do well in school they didn't enjoy it and um so yeah don't be like your past has sort of nothing to do with your future i have absolutely no qualifications at all um for like very stupid reasons, but like, I was always very smart, but I just, I didn't write anything in the, in the exams. I was very rebellious. And for whatever reason, I thought that was a, a way of rebelling against the, against the system and looking back, it was very stupid, but again, it's had no impact whatsoever on my financial wealth because of the world that we live in the internet, you can take control. You can go and set up your own business and earn your own, own money. There's no one, there's no one restricting you in terms of, of what to do, which is like the beauty of, of the internet. Um, so you use it to your advantage. 